Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am excited to give you guys a new plugin that you guys will enjoy. Pretty sure you will. Um, I advise you to stay to the end because this is a really good plugin and I do not want to waste any more of your time. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we have a picture of Mona Lisa, but we're about to add a little bit of animations to it before we get to our plugin. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to add a keyframe right here in the inspector panel. And we're just going to lift Mona Lisa up all the way outside of the screen. And we're going to go about five frames into the timeline. And then we're going to go to our Y axis and we're going to press zero. And that's just going to bring Mona Lisa down. So if we put our back to the beginning, it's just Mona Lisa just dropping down. But we want to make this look a little bit more realistic. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our blur tab in the effects tab. I'm going to go to directional. And we're just going to drag that on to Mona Lisa. So we're going to increase this to about 67. And then once we increase it to 67, we're going to add a keyframe again. So we're going to press this right here and we're going to scrub through our timeline right here. And as you can see, the arrows pointing to the right, we want that to point to the direction that she's going. So we want it to point down. That looks about right, right there. So we're going to drag our timeline back, our playhead back and just scrub through. And when it finally, when Mona Lisa finally hits the ground, that's when we will release our keyframe of the directional blur to zero. So we can play this back and see how this looks. Looks pretty good, pretty solid right there. All right, nice. Okay, so now it's time to introduce you guys to the plugin. Um, this is the Outline Flare plugin. And after you download it, it will be in the B3 Studios plugins tab right here. And as you can see, uh, you can just drag it and drop it on here. And it is a lot that you can do with this plugin. Um, first off, we're gonna change the color. You can make it a orangey color right here. And we are going to increase the width a bit to about 17. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to add a keyframe to the last point offset and the first point offset. Okay, so we're going to scrub through our timeline to when Mona Lisa drops, actually. We are going to, before we do that, I'm sorry, we are going to put the last point offset to zero, right? So when Mona Lisa drops and the blur fades, we are going to put the last point offset We're just going to drag that here and then we're going to move forward in the timeline just a little bit more and we're going to go drag the first point offset, drag it a little bit more. The first point offset, we're going to take that all the way back. All right, so if we play this back. Looks incredible. And like I said, you can change the color on this. You can change it to anything you want. You can do a dark green, do a blue. Let's try, let's try dark green. You can make it thicker if you want to, the width. 
it's all up to you. You can make a lot of adjustments. There's a lot of uh, adjustments, obviously, that you can make. The glow settings, you know, outer glow, you can decrease that. You can make it stronger. This is just an awesome plugin. All right, if we play this back. Looks pretty good right there. All right, I'm gonna show you um, another way that you can use this plugin. I'm gonna erase this Mona Lisa, and we're just gonna create a title. So Control T. I'm gonna put E3 Studios. gonna change the font up a little bit go here increase the size right here okay and we're gonna add the outline flare to the text and as you can see right here it's already looking cool but we want to make some adjustments to that Let's turn down the glow a bit. And we're going to take down the width just a little bit. Let's just see how this looks so far. Looks pretty cool. Okay, with the distortion speed, you can adjust that as well. Let's just add a keyframe right here to the color tab. I'm just gonna go all the way back to our timeline at the end. And we're just gonna change the color to blue. It's gonna look even cooler as the time goes on in the timeline. Get that, that looks amazing. looks amazing as you can see you can do this on any type of object in Final Cut Pro you can just be as creative as you want um, I appreciate you guys watching this tutorial you can find this plugin in the link in the description be sure to grab it because it is on sale right now so do your best to get that as quickly as possible and we will be coming out with a lot more footage soon so be on the lookout and subscribe like this video if this helped you out, and I hope you guys have a great day. Appreciate you.